Good evening and thanks for being with us tonight. I'm Dan Jovic. And I'm Jackie Jovic. In tonight's top story, Southern University of Shreveport at one time had the only junior college football team in the state of Louisiana. But as of October, that is no longer the case. Sports Director Wesley Boone joins us now sharing more. Wes? Dan, Jackie, Susla football started with plenty of fanfare in 2020. But a month ago, the program shut down without as much as an announcement from the university. I spoke to the team's program director to try and get some answers. A desperate plea. If they get a chance in Shreveport, you know, they can make it better for themselves. You know, they get the second chance that people overlook them. Falling on deaf ears. This program was started with the intent of helping folks like that that fall through the cracks. If we don't do it, who does? The Southern Shreveport football program sent this goodbye tweet in mid-October, but the Jags' battle to keep their program alive goes all the way back to last winter. This is Lolita Jenkins present. Went to the board meeting, and when we arrived, we wanted to speak to the uh, current interim chancellor, and he deferred us to counsel. Um, to this day, we have never spoken to him. He has never presented us a reason why he wanted to dissolve the MOU. Um, because we did what we were asked to do. Lolita Jenkins is the CEO of Texas A&T, an independent entity that Susla partnered with in the spring of 2020 to introduce football to Susla's campus. But that agreement was made with the previous administration. Jenkins says once interim chancellor Vladimir Apinin took over, the relationship with the program and the university quickly deteriorated. As we're speaking right now, Wesley, I still don't know. I can't answer that question of who, what, where, and why, because no one wants to talk to us. No one. The closest explanation we could find is during this Southern University Board of Supervisors meeting from January, and this comment made from Mr. Sam Gilliam. The reality, though, was that it just wasn't a good business deal. They had promised, I believe, in the MOU, too, that we were, they were going to give us $82,000 to help support the program. We haven't seen those funds. According to Lolita Jenkins, $82,000 not only was never agreed upon, it's completely made up. Um, I was shocked uh, because he had never been a part of our meetings. I'm not quite sure um, where that person got that number from. When we reached out to the university for comment, Here's what they gave us in return. Susla has dissolved the previous memorandum of understanding with Texas A&T operating as Southern Shreveport Jags. As such, there's no formal relationship between Susla and Southern Shreveport Jags. One board member, Raymond Fondell, addressed the Board of Supervisors right before the vote to dissolve the MOU was passed. And I have this, to, to come in and sit with this body, and I have this thing rush through like, Okay, like we're not going to take it into consideration. It's wrong. It's wrong. And you have to tell those young men that you don't want to face them to vote on this. You've decided to come up here, put Robin's rules and say, okay, we're going to do this quick. We can't. So all I have to say is wrong. And I'm going to stand with those young men because if I don't, who will? Again, we tried to speak to someone from Susla on this matter. And we were given a statement the university says they released months ago. On a positive note, Ms. Jenkins says that they've placed 95% of the players who wanted to continue their football careers at other junior colleges with football.